Hey Leo, it's Goddess Puff, and this is the Harsh Truth for March 2022. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Leo. The Harsh Truth for Leo for March 2022. The Harsh Truth for Leo for March 2022. Last shuffle, the Harsh Truth for Leo, March 2022. We have potions and spells, 28, which is also a 10. Silence, 36, which is also a 9. Banshee, 5. And overall energy is Journey, 24, which is a 6. So these numbers could be dates, times, ages. Put it where it goes for you. All right, so pretty much getting that you are doing some type of spells or throwing together some type of concoction. Garlic. I've been thinking about garlic all day. I see garlic and I don't know if that's dill or parsley on this plate here. Some um, rose petals and crystals and things of that nature. Now, spell could simply just be you making some tea, making some food, throwing some um, all natural spices together to cure some type of minor ailment. But I feel as though, yeah, with silence, some of you could have lost your voice. Right before I cut this on, I um I tried to start your video prior to this. And my throat, I had to clear my throat. And I've been drinking water all day, so there was no need for me to do that. But right before I cut your video on, I had to clear my throat. So maybe some of you have a hoarse throat or you've lost your voice or something like that. And with Banshee, maybe you've been screaming a lot or feeling the need to raise your voice a lot lately. Or feeling like you're not being heard. So now you're doing the opposite. Because I feel like Leos are, you know, they tend to be outgoing or outspoken. I know that's stereotypical, but in some way, shape, or form, you are outgoing or outspoken. Or you've been overusing your voice. So you're doing something to cure that. Well, let's get into the tarot and see. For Leo. The harsh truth for Leo. March 2022 for Leo. The harsh truth for Leo. Dang. <laughs> The Banshee card flipped straight up. Flash off with a harsh truth for Leo. March Alright. I feel like your silence speaks louder than actually trying to like yell at people. Not saying that you are yelling, but we have seven of cups. So Someone could be manipulating you into silence by ignoring you or ignorance, pretending like they don't hear you when they really do because they want you to get louder and louder and use your lose your voice or lose your faith in a situation or lose faith in yourself. Um, 57, which is also a 12 or a 3 here with the 7 of Cups. <clears throat> King of Cups, 52, which is a 7 again. Um... Hmm. You could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces that you're dealing with. There's a water sign trying to manipulate you into silence or silence you. I feel like this person is manipulating you into thinking that no one hears you or no one's listening to you when they actually are. They ignore you and they try to get other people to ignore you or tell you that other people are ignoring you. They, they're putting on the facade that you're being ignored. Yeah, two of wands, master number 22 here as well. And the overall energy is death card Scorpio. So yeah, a Scorpio could be doing this to you. And the end to read this card here says provides liberation and illumination, incites jealousy and envy. So for some reason, I feel like you're a public speaker or people tend to listen to your advice. I, I get the sense that you give very good advice. You're very honest. You tell the truth. So people often come to you for advice. And this person wants to silence you or wants you to think the opposite of that, that people don't listen to you or that you're being ignored. They're jealous of you. Clarify this for Leo. Clarify this message for Leo. It could be a Scorpio or someone who has Scorpio highly aspected in their chart. All right, last check. Clarify this. Yeah, 
If you hear noises in the background, that's just my guinea pigs. And right after I say that, they start going off. Raven, calm down. Clarifying the seven. Why is she throwing a fit? <laughs> Clarifying the seven of cups is the knight of pentacles. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> she just threw a temper tantrum. Uh, clarifying the seven of cups is the queen of cups. So we have the king and queen of cups here. It could be a water sign couple. I don't know if you have water sign parents. Yeah, or you work with these people, but it's a water sign couple. It's two water signs or people who have it highly aspected in their chart. Um, they're both doing work on you in some way, shape, or form. They don't literally have to be in the kitchen throwing stuff together and shouting and screaming or anything like that. They could just be like trying to mess with your mind. Um, if this person with the Queen of Cups, I feel like this could be your mother and she's tossing some type of spells as well. Something to do with milk and eggs or cereal. Mm. I feel like there was something that your mother taught you at a very young age. Maybe when she, you spoke to her, she was silent while she was doing things and she didn't respond to you right after you asked her something. She'll wait until she's done doing whatever she's doing to even acknowledge you. Maybe that's something she used to do to you as a child. And with the Knight of Pentacles, maybe she was very hardworking and she didn't have a lot of time for you. I feel like when you were a child, you used to deal with someone who... Like I said, you would come up to the max for a question or help and they wouldn't even look up at you or acknowledge you until they were done doing what they were doing. And that really messed with your mind. And you may have told someone about this. I would really hope you didn't tell a therapist about this and they use that against you. I would really hope it's not any malpractice going on because that's, you need to get away from that person. You need to get away from anyone who's doing this to you, honestly. But I feel like this is the oldest trick in the book that this person is trying to use against you. You feel like, I feel like you've been there, done that. Clarifying the King of Cups is the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like the King of Cups is using that silence on you as well. You had Ten of Cups. So it could be a family member, a relative, or a lover. These people are relatives or lovers. Your mother taught you this trick when you were young. And I feel like your father could be doing this to you. Or there's another um, water sign in your life currently who's doing this to you. And I feel like if they're ignoring you and si being silent to you, you should be silent to them or not speak to them. If they're not speaking to you and ignoring you, I feel like you should do the same to them. An equal exchange with the Six of Pentacles. All right, with the two of wands, yeah, because you're trying to figure out if you should yell or stay silent, if you should speak your mind or stay silent. Clarifying the two of wands with the higher font, Taurus, and the queen of swords. So, yeah, there's a, a air sign here, obviously, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or you could have this highly aspected in you. There's one person, there's one side that's really, like, outspoken and loud and have to speak their mind about everything. And there's another side who like uses silence as a weapon. Overall energy is the Ten of Swords. Mm. And you know, you're like, where the hell am I? I feel like um, you could be the Queen of Swords here. Like I said, you're used to being very blunt and honest and speaking the truth. And you're trying to figure out which way to deal with this, how to go about this. I hope this isn't a romantic relationship because I feel like this King of Cups has some type of authority or power over you. They're a higher up, maybe at work or something. This Or this person is just trying to exert their authority over on you. And I feel like you may have wanted a higher commitment from this person or they wanted this for you. And so you're trying to figure out how to go about it. I feel like this person is trying to like manipulate you into like some confusion or docile state by ignoring you. Something, again, that was implemented on you as a child. Um, I would, My advice to you is to give what you get from this person. If they're using silence to dismiss or ignore you. Because I feel like for some of you, this person, you'll talk to them. They'll look straight at you and not say anything. I feel like you should return the favor or just stay away from them altogether. All right, I'm going to get you your final message. For Leah. 
final message for Leo. Last shuffle, final message for Leo. All right, we have Noose, Braid, Glove, and Hedgehog. So the braid and the noose kind of look the same to me because of the way the, um, the rope or the noose is being tied by hand, or it's like a pattern being wrapped. But anyway, I'm going to read what these three cards may mean and how they could relate to the reading. Some of them I won't because I'm gonna leave those open to interpretation. All right, noose, anxiety, threat, self-sabotage. Mm, with the queen of cups and the knight of pentacles. I don't feel as though you're self sab oh, you're afraid of self-sabotaging, that's what that is. Or maybe you guilt yourself, you feel like you did something wrong. You didn't. You're worried about sabotaging an opportunity. You don't want this opportunity anyway. You don't want to work with this person or people like this. This is weird to me. Very weird to me. All right, braid. Identity, survival, the opinions of others. Yeah. Because I feel like these people want, like, want to make you feel like you're beneath them or you should be quieter. They just want to silence you. Or I feel like these people use ignoring and silence to put themselves above you in some way and mess with your head and make you feel like you're messing up an opportunity or whatever. No. All right, glove, money, status, complacency. That's what I feel. I feel like these people, either they are your parents or they reflect a parent. They could be bosses or just higher ups. And it's like they want, they're trying to manipulate you into being a certain way in order to gain a position or status or whatever. All right, overall energy, hedgehog, vulnerability, hiding the heart, tenderness. All right, take what you will from this, but I'm going to leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. And if you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, her Etsy is linked below in the description box as well. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.